Hello! You may wonder how to make an old computer to work. Well, let me show you. Alright, this is what you need. One working computer with an internet connection and an ancient USB stick or a flash drive or an empty CD. These have to be old because if you have a, a big new flash drive, your old computer may not recognize it. And of course you need an old computer too. It's about 10 years old, Omnibook, and as you can see it's not very fast. It doesn't even have a hard drive. And then we go to another computer and Google what we need. Puppy Linux, latest stable release. Here it is. Um, you can download it from here. But because uh, I'm going to use very old flash drive, it doesn't um, this doesn't fit on it. So I I'm gonna need to get an older version of it. Older versions are not the best choices, but because of the limited space, I have to use the older version. And here we download it. And, of course, we need also UNET booting, universal USB installer. Download it. And... Here it goes. Click three dots to open the downloaded Linux file and select the letter of the empty USB drive and then just wait. Oh, by the way, the browser I use is Lunascape because I like to howl. Then quit UNET booting and plug out the USB stick. Plug it into old machine. Start the computer up goes well. You can see the Linux logo. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. This takes a while. And choose the right country and the language and uh, things like that. And the time. And I'm gonna choose VESA here because the other one didn't work for me. Here it goes. Just click OK. And there you go. It's, it's ready for use. This old computer was very picky with um, CDs and DVDs. So it didn't actually play uh, anything else but this old David Bowie CD from 1990. <laughs> There you go, it shows the CD and plays it all, okay. Puppy Linux, don't you just love it? Of course you can also try other Linux distributions, for example Knopix which was uh, really slow, but it did work anyway. Ta-da! <laughs> Bye!